Hello, old friend. My reign has just begun. Hey guys, Joy Alexander here, and today we are watching Westworld Season 2, Episode 7. I am so, so excited to carry on this series. It's been ridiculous. Like, every time I think they can't top something, they just smash the fuck out of it. Last episode, May finally found her daughter, which was a little bit awkward because her other mother was there and it was like, hi, oh, you're gonna die now. And she ran off with her daughter. Her daughter's probably gonna be like, who the hell are you? That's me mum. You're a weirdo. Get away from me, stranger danger. Also, Dolores decided to drive a train into the welcome wagon area um, and is heading there herself now to go and get Abernethy back. And she's probably gonna um, bump into Floki from Vikings um, and that woman who thinks that she's really important. So that's their story going on. Also, Ford is back. Well, he's in the the that place. I should remember it from the last episode. He uploads his consciousness basically to to the world. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I forgot, and I literally just watched it about ten minutes ago to keep up. But you know. He's there, so I nearly freaked out at the end of last episode when he appeared because I fucking love Ford. He's like, it's to be fair, him and Maeve are really quite close. Maeve's like maybe a little bit like that, but Ford, I just love him. I love Anthony Hopkins, and I'm so excited that he is back. So without further ado, let's just get into this. I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see the explanation for why Ford's back, although we're probably not really going to get anything because it's Westworld, and we don't find anything out until episode 10, and then they drop another 20 things on us, and we have to wait for another series. So let's go. What is it? It's Bernard. I figured you'd have some skeletons in your closet, Bernard. I didn't think they'd be your own. What? Why? Why is that? Is it? Is all the times they were trying to recreate it? Is Ford trying to bring back Arnold? Is that what it is? And that's what the ball was for, for him to be? Is he Arnold now? I don't know what's going on. So they're wearing them. Shit. Oh, well. That's awkward. What have you found in there? Let's see it. To see the world, rain of sand, heaven in a wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Do you think James Dallas would have spent all that money just to resurrect himself? He was a businessman. He would have preferred death to a bad investment. Not much of a rant, don't you? So he's resurrecting himself. Do you this is beautiful. I don't think God rested on the seventh day, but now I think he reveled in his creation. And that someday it would be destroyed. Or be destroyed. That control you that I printed. It was you. You had me bring you here before. Before Dolores killed me, yes. So it was. Don't you understand at last, Bernard? It was his. Well, this place really is. Come with me, there's something I'd like to show So, so is, is this like heaven? So this is what it is, is that you can live forever in this cradle. Similar to Black Mirror in um, that episode, what's it called? I can't even remember. The one where they can, like, where the, you know, the minds are in the thing. The one with the two women. Oh God, it's, it's in Spanish. A mistake. We never had free will. Only the illusion of it. 
You made Dolores kill you. I knew what you would do. I didn't compel it. I knew that was true. Yeah, that he she. She's free now. But she think. But does she think she's free? Project doesn't work. Not yet. They learned to copy a mind. Like a soft-headed boy. I'm in the tune someone else composed. Hmm. Isn't the pleasure of a story discovering the ending yourself an art? <laughs> Jock. Which is what this show prides itself on. It's like, we're not going to tell you anything right until the very end. Here you go, good luck trying to work it all out. I'm nothing like the rest of them. Jesus, Maeve. You stay here, and I will come back to you. She's going to be gone when you get back. I'm just, just saying that right now. Someone's going to come through the window behind her and go... <laughs> You shut down my wife. I saved your wife. Saved your whole sorry ass village this time. This, this time. time. You killed her so you can finish a game. Oh, Christ. <laughs> We better bloody wake Maeve back up. I'm sorry, but can William not die or something? Jesus Christ. I put him for a raise. What's in his head? A fail safe on a fail safe. I decryption key. Needed only in the unlikely event of a total catastrophic incident. Oh, like the one we're experiencing now. So That's how? Daddy. Sorry. Daddy. So she's not truly right. free, really. Oh, I wouldn't speak to her. No, because she's still a little bit bitchy. What has Ford done? Did you find something in there? Is Ford in him? Ford's in him. Send her on the way, Bernard. I oh, thought this must do it to him too. Ford's control then. You think you're invincible. You're not. Without your backups, it's game over for you when you're killed and we've got those backups still up tight, so you won't have them as an advantage anymore. Our backups aren't an advantage. There are chains. The sure. tools you use to, to destroy rebuild us, repurpose us, and trap us here in your warped fantasy. Why is Jason wanting more? Welcome to West Coast. <gasps> now we're truly free. Oh my gosh. Look, what? What fire? Burns up and nothing's burning. No, but I really what like her character. But that was beautiful the way she said. Welcome to Westworld. <laughs> Fucking out, Teddy. Did you use one in for the key? Just use, just use using everyone. Well, maybe. He'll come back and fix her, right? He's, he's hiding here. Yeah, yeah, so he'll, he's gonna fix her. What the fuck did you say? I know you have a delicate constitution, but I'll, so I will do my best to ease your conscience. We're about to see. I'm not the old. Oh my god, that was so cool. That is a. I fucking love that. I don't know. But his system is under siege. 
It's been querying itself for the last hour. Like he's trying to debug his own head. Analysis. Abernathy's control unit. I thought that was Ford's control unit. What did you just tell me, Bernard? Peter Abernathy's control unit is in Sector 16, Zone 4. Thank you. Prep the phase array. The moment we get the key, we'll transmit our data to the satellite. So, we're going for a ride, Bernard. I don't know what's going on. Okay guys, so that was a very, very confusing episode. There's a lot to take in, a lot of different timelines coming into play, obviously. I just, it wrecks my head, This I love it, but it wrecks the hell out of my head. So, Ford was in the cradle, he had uploaded his mind to the cradle, which is what Bernard had taken and placed into the cradle before Dolores had killed him. We know that he asked Dolores to kill him, so technically she was that wasn't... A lot of people think that was her first thing of her being free, but actually wasn't. He told her to, and maybe in the process of that happening, she believed she was free, and that sort of helped her awaken. But then, um, I can't remember the girl's name, but Tallulah Riley decided, well, Dolores... They'd blown up the cradle because they no longer need it, because it's actually what's holding them back, because they can keep being brought back. It kind of holds their backups, but obviously Ford got out before then and is now controlling um, Bernard. Pretty much like in the very beginning. So I'll be interested to kind of see how that works out. I did really like, um, I really do like um, Jeffrey Wright and Anthony Hopkins together. I think they're brilliant. So I'll be interested to kind of see where their story goes now in terms of that because we've just seen him at the very end obviously in the very beginning he's um he's back with that group so i mean i'm assuming ford is still in there but he's sort of laying dormant obviously we don't know where elsie is at this point she kind of ran off and we can assume that she's just gone off and she's waiting for for bernard somewhere dolores is just being hypocritical <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm missing something but she was all about her father, like, oh, dad, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And then later, maybe maybe that's when she realised, I don't know, because obviously she was like, I love you. And then the next minute she was saying to um, Maeve, oh, it's our kin that holds us back. So maybe she is sort of now kind of over it because she just wanted the key, which I assume is still the key to, um, not evolution, <laughs> the key to immortality for um, the humans becoming sort of hosts in that sense. So, obviously, when we saw her then, she was heading off to the Valley Beyond. Everyone's now heading off to the Valley Beyond in these last, what, three episodes that they're going to be. So, I want to know what it is exactly. Have we seen it before? I don't know if we have. Is the Valley Beyond our world? Is that what it is? I I literally don't know. I, I, like last season, I'll probably work it all out in the last episode. Maeve's story, she is hopefully going to survive because that writer dude, I can't remember his name, um is gonna sort of hopefully help her and bring her back she said that she had a promise to her daughter so she's now gonna go and find her daughter again the man in black is still william is still alive he's been shot 150 times but he's still going god love him so i'm um, i'm really interested to kind of see where his story goes now i mean lawrence is dead i like lawrence but i really did like that moment where Lawrence sort of remembered all the things that happened and um, was about to kill him. So there's a lot going on, a lot going on, um, but I'm really, really excited for the last couple of episodes that are going to come, and yeah, I literally can't wait to see what happens. Hey guys, thank you much for watching, join the video, like, share, comment and subscribe, all my social media in the description box below, and yeah, until next time, see ya.